Hi everyone, Paolo here, so welcome back to my channel. So those that are following this series, sorry for the bit of delay, got tied up with some other stuffs. Um, so let's get back into it. So on this video, we're going to learn how to create a view. Uh, so how here I have a list view. Um, we'll create a view and then we'll have a delete option that would delete um, this record and go back to this view. So if I go to dodge card and hit delete, that would delete it from our back end and then go back to the list view. So let's get started. Okay, so this is where we left off. Um, we're now going to try to create a new detail view. So here just say control N, select Swift UI, and let's call this account detail view and go create. So for this detail view, it's pretty much same as the form that we have here. Um, so with a little bit of spacing and all of that. So most of the stuffs we could copy from the content view that we did and we created this uh, detail view. So I'm going to start off by copying this value. So we want to create an environment presentation mode, which we would use later um, uh, for dismissing the view so we could go back uh, to it. And then I want to create a state. Oh. State var account, which would be the account. And another state, which would be show edit. Um, maybe not the show edit for now. We'll do that later. And for here, I want to have uh, H. Let's create this uh, H tag. Cool. And I want to have the text. Um, text of balance in here and a spacer and text again and this time gonna have the dollar sign um, we put a space and say account balance cool and close that in there so um, let me also put this in a list so it looks a little bit cleaner. I'm just going to create it manually. Create a list. Let's add some padding in here. You would see there's an error here. So a quick way to do this is to um, create an instance of the view. I'm just going to copy and paste this. So it's uh, we're uh, passing the account and when we instantiate the struct, we pass it different variables. So if I quickly show that canvas, resume, you should be able to see something like this. So that's what we want. Um, next, I'm just going to copy some items here. So section, we have category, um, then the description and then the wealth type and I want another section so on this section I want a button and the button will have an action it would have a closure there which is fine and then for the label I want to actually create uh, load the image so I'll say image and then say system name and I'm gonna give this the trash uh, SF symbol and for the button itself I'm gonna call it delete and probably put this in an h tag uh, Out 
let's try again oh, text all right so that's what i want um next let's create that navigation view so go back to the content view and up in here we have uh, a for each uh, looping to this uh, section so probably create a um, so I'm gonna create a h tag first I'm gonna copy all of this inside that h tag I'm gonna transform this into a navigation link And we want a destination. So for the destination, uh, we want it to be the account. Detail view that we created. And then we're gonna pass it the uh, account. And from here, we're gonna pass it the item. So we don't need the label you get rid of that um, and just close this one more time and that should be it so if I load this on the simulator here you'll see that we now have a view and we have this delete option here so let me close this give it more real estate cool uh, next is we're gonna copy this uh, delete function that we created here uh, load account function we're gonna put it in here and after the view and then we're gonna call this uh, delete account so for the delete account um, the endpoint would be different so we need to pass the um, so I'm gonna create we need to pass the account ID so when we pass the account ID that's gonna delete there and this would uh, be delete this time and we still have the application JSON and we would need the we don't need the content type actually so just this uh, and that should be fine and then for the um, part where we say after the delete has happened we want it to redirect back to the dismiss this view and then go back to the previous this view so we could don't actually need to check uh, the response so let me delete that just want it to dismiss the view so we say self um, presentation mode and then the wrap value then dismiss probably get an error there uh, because it's not being used uh, let's try just to do a print here just to get rid of it save data somewhere there and let's try it out so when I go to dodgecoin here and I hit this delete I'm expecting it to be deleted and go back so that didn't work because we haven't tied that delete function that delete account to the action so to wrap it all up uh, here on this closure oops say self and then call the delete account and let's try it again so when I go to Dogecoin here and I hit this delete, I'm supposed to go back there and that should be deleted. So somehow it's not deleted. Uh, let's check uh, Safari. So it wasn't deleted here. So the value is not being set. So let me just quickly debug what's going on. Okay, so the problem is the forward slash here. So let's try it again and delete the dogecoin and that should be deleted so there you go so we managed to create a navigation link to a new view and from the new view we have the option to delete on the next video we're gonna uh, be able to do an update 
and we should be able to update this and make an update request so that's it for this video hope you like it thumbs up uh, thumbs down and uh, hit the comments below for other suggestions for other topics to cover cheers bye for now